Hey guys. Please subscribe our channel. Today our topic is. Skeleton frame in civil engineering. So move toward our. Today's topic. Skeleton frame. A skeleton frame. Is a method of frame structure. That is widely used in multi-story building construction. It features a network. Or system of columns. And supporting beams. That carry loads to the building's foundations. While supporting the interior floors. And exterior walls. Building coverings can be formed by glazing. Brick. Cladding. And other materials that are suspended from the outside of skeleton frames. Made of wood. Concrete or structural steel components. Introduction. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the skeleton frame was developed. That facilitated the quick construction of structures. Like the first skyscrapers. It made it possible for interior floor plans to be devoid of fixed walls. That allows more flexible spaces. And it also allowed for the use of various materials for the facades. This reduced the importance of masonry from a structural component to a more decorative role. Architecture of the skeletal structure. A framed structure known as a skeleton frame is frequently utilized to build multi-story buildings. It features a network or system of columns and supporting beams that transfer weights to the building's foundations while supporting the interior floors and outer walls. Building skeleton. The floors, interior and exterior walls are supported by a skeleton of steel beams. In a structure built employing this method, the weight of the building is not supported by the exterior walls made of stone, glass, metal, or any other material preferred. A large skyscraper or other building is supported by a steel frame known as a building skeleton. Metal beams that create vertical columns are crossed with steel girders for stability of the framework of a building. Steel support beams and girders are fascinated together to create the basic shapes of buildings where the horizontal beam meets the vertical columns builds that use building skeletons have more benefits than regular constructions components of skeleton frame purlins columns posts bracings and other parts of the skeleton can be manufactured anywhere there are fabrication capabilities to speed up construction the foundation for the column could be a precast rcc a variety of locally available materials can be used to construct walls and roofs when a better material is selected burn brick masonry and cement mortar with an rcc band at the lintel and overhang level may be employed concrete block masonry is preferable to random rubble masonry in mud that contributes substantial mass and crumbles when subjected to vibrations if the stone is abundantly available mud walls adobe walls walls constructed of reed leaves and bamboo walls are further paneling substitutes. Roofing can be done with CGI or ACC sheets, thatch, country tiles, or slate, depending on the materials that are available. A few cladding and roofing choices are fixed to the skeleton frame. Advantages of skeleton frames. The system can be built incrementally and completed in stages, depending on available funds. After the foundation is built, it can be used for the most basic needs. Before other building materials like paneling, flooring, and joinery are gradually added. Buildings made of walling components like grass, reed, wood, and bamboo are good earthquake friendly buildings because they are lightweight construction. But they have essential weaknesses like rapid decay to being highly combustible because of their organic origins. Due to their short life, components must be replaced quickly. It is essential to use materials after the proper seasoning and preservative treatment in order to increase or modify their workability when creating wall panels and thatch roofs if you enjoyed our today's video then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel